Hey guys, this is a short video. This is going to be my entry for the uh, Chevy Cheeseburger 48 hour build, group build for this month. Um, I was going to save it for next month's one, but it's the only car kit I have right now in hand. So, we're going to do it for this open for this month. And what we have is. The Green Hornet Black Beauty from Polar Light. It's a 1966 Imperial Crown sedan uh, from the uh, TV show Green Hornet. It's 132nd scale. And I'll show you some of the back. I'll do a, some uh, secondary video here with a little higher resolution show you what we've got going it's still still sealed in the plastic you can see all the shiny on it um, we'll do that for for the 48 hour build this weekend and I'll be right back to show you a few more better shots of it we'll take the plastic wrap off and look at the kit okay guys Let's take a look at what we got here. A better look at the box without the plastic on it. Really nice box art. Really, really nice. Um, there's not a whole lot to this kit. Here's our chrome parts. Front grill. Headlights. I'm not sure what that is. Sure, what that piece is. We'll have to look at the instructions and see. Here's our rockets, which have to get painted. Our wheels. That's a chrome sprue. <coughs> Here's our body. This car is actually intended to be either a model kit or it came available also as a uh, be made into a slot car. I'm going to go ahead and open up this body bag so we can get a better look at it. See there, the curbside. Obviously, since it's supposed to be a slot car, it was designed to be a slot car. A little bit of flash here and there, but nothing a quick pass with the sandpaper won't fix. This is going to test my painting limits here. So I'm planning to do, obviously, a black paint job. So I'm going to try and do uh, a green iridescence on it. So that when you look at it just right, it kind of has that green, green shimmer. We'll see how that turns out. Maybe bite off more than I can chew in the time limit. 
especially since I have to work the weekend. There's our clear parts here. Windscreen, rear windscreen. Um, Looks like you got two different ones depending if you put the bulletproof back up or down. I know nothing's going to show up here very well because it's in plastic and it's black. You got dashboard. Here's the the bulletproof rear wind, windscreen. Um, interior bucket with. It's got the seat divider in the back with the record player and all that stuff on it. But it, yeah, it looks like. That's about it for that one. We have rubber tires, metal axle. sheet that's pretty much it there you got the rear rear laser gun armored rear window uh, rear locket, rear lo rocket pods, bulletproof windshield, and side window. Headlights, headlight lenses. Front laser gun. Front rocket packs. Uh, we've got inside the interior bucket. We've got the dashboard, steering wheel, the window divider. And a rear seat console armrest. And basically the body goes on the chassis and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So there's no decals in this kit. So the, the trick is gonna be the paint job. I'm gonna try and go all out on the paint job with what time I have. And we may not get it done exactly on time, say because I have to work all weekend. But I really want to make this one come out good, so I was going to save this one for the uh, October one for the movie cars. But if the eBay gods shine upon me, I'm going to have something even more interesting for that one. So that's where we're at. So the closer, the closer look at the Green Hornet Black Beauty from Polar Lights. That'll be, we'll get started on it. It'll actually be Saturday morning because I work until midnight on Friday night. So I'll try and get, the, get it washed, washed and cleaned and ready beforehand. So as soon as I get home I can get right on getting the base coat on the uh, car. I don't see any major marks. I'm looking in here. Let me. There might be a little bit of a sink there on the roof. Any major issues as far as preventing me? requiring extra work before I start the primer. So I probably get the Yeah, that's what it is, there's a little a little sinkhole from this and mold key on the inside on there on the roof. So but it's so shallow I should be able to putty that and then wait about ten minutes and 
and get it sanded out. A little sanding there on the nose too, it looks like. Plastic looks a little rough because it's like we're gonna paint black. Oh, that's showing up in the camera. We're gonna bring it in. There's rough spots right there on the top of the nose. I think a little light sanding will take care of those. Because we really need this to be smooth for that black paint. Especially once I try to lay that clear green pearlescent over the top of it. So, we'll see you probably the first update. It'll be up Saturday morning. So that's it for now. It goes back on. That's it for now.